it is such an honor and privilege to be here today to receive this award and to celebrate Francis Perkins' remarkable legacy. As someone who was inter instrumental in leading the country out of the Great Depression and instituting such wide-ranging reforms as the Wagner Act, the Fair Labor Standards Act, and Social Security, Perkins stands as one of the most influential voices in U.S. history. At the same time, she serves as an extraordinary model for women and girls seeking inspiration in a world that desperately <coughs> needs more female leaders. It was for this reason that my protest of Governor LePage's removal of the mural depicting Perkins from the State Labor <laughs> Department was based not simply what I consider to be a misapplication of the philosophical principles he espoused. Rather, I regarded the governor's move as emblematic of Australian feminist philosopher Dale Spender's contention that every century has its great women thinkers, but with each passing generation, the institutional politics of gender leaves women consigned to the lower shelves of cultural material and eventually forgotten. Because politics has kept our actual achievements out of the canon, we are challenged to rediscover our female antecedents with each generation. At Med Holyoke, we embody an understanding that promoting women's education worldwide is one of the most important safeguards against the generational forgetting, Spender notes. We also know that women's education is crucial not only because it strengthens the institutional presence of women leaders who will work against generational forgetting of women's accomplishments, but also because of the urgent need to continue deepening and accelerating the pace of achievement for today's women. With this in mind, Mount Holyoke is proud to be partnering with the U.S. Department of State and leading colleges around the world on the Women in Public Service Project, launched in 2011 by U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in collaboration with five leading women's colleges, Barnard, Bryn Mawr, Mount Holyoke, Smith, and Wellesley. The project is housed at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. And our vision by 50% by 2050 is a world in which political and civic leadership is at least 50% female by 2050. We are committed to building the infrastructure and convening the conversations necessary to achieve this vision by challenging the world's community to identify, create, and advance a new generation of women committed to public service by bringing together thought leaders, educators, and public servants from around the world, as well as members of private and nonprofit organizations who wish to take up the challenge. By identifying and addressing the obstacles that prevent creative solutions that will increase the number of young women who aspire and are employed to pursue a career in public service. And by making recommendations for implementing those solutions at all levels of political involvement around the world. Next summer, Mount Holyoke College and Smith College will co-host an institute, Restructuring Societies in the Wake of Conflict, Traditional Justice and Economic Development, that will bring together emerging women leaders working to rebuild their communities and promote, <coughs> excuse me, and promote <coughs> sustainable economic livelihoods following political violence and human rights violations. In doing so, <coughs> we pay tribute to Frances Perkins, who is a powerful exemplar of the college's mission of using liberal learning for purposeful engagement in the world, who, encouraged by the women closest to her to walk boldly <coughs> through open doors, and who, through her eternal commitment to public service and to social and economic justice, will remain an inspiration for future generations of women worldwide. Moreover, as students return to campus over the course of the next few weeks, we will be encouraging them to follow in Frances Perkins' footsteps to never fear change. Our Never Fear Change campaign honors our history while challenging the college, the community, and all who engage with Mount Holyoke to be self-aware, future-focused, and optimistic, to understand that everything is subject to change, and to live their lives as Frances Perkins lived hers, prepared not only to face change, but to lead it. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you.